Today at noon will mark President Trump's 500th day in office. And while some in the media won't admit it, our commander in chief has actually racked up a pretty impressive list of accomplishments. Here to discuss the founder and executive director of Turning Point USA, Charlie Kirk. Charlie, good to have you. Good in morning. There. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right. Uh, let's start. Uh, one of the things the president said when he was a candidate is you put me in the Oval Office and I will cut as much red tape and dramatic deregulation is certainly uh, being accomplished. That's right. It's the most dramatic deregulation in American history and on the campaign trail he uh, famously promised to cut uh, one new re two, regula two new regulations for every one that's put on the books. Ambitious. And the, new, the numbers are in. I mean he cut 22 for every new one put on the books. It is the largest reduction in the federal registry in American history. And so, look, even Bush, who was a free market guy, supposedly, right. the federal registry grew under Bush. It grew under Obama. It grew under Clinton. And for those of us that have really understood what has been putting American business less competitive over the last decade, right. regulation is the true tax on American business. And I can't tell you how many people I know in business just love the fact that they're cutting a lot That's of red right. tape. That's right. And it lowers the cost of compliance. It makes us more competitive internationally. And this is something that it's really hard to, to see up front. Right. But you see, when, when, a, when a business has less compliance cost, has to deal with less lawyers and less regulators, that's where you're going to start the economy uh, moving again. 500 days in, historic economic success. You look at it, uh, 223,000 jobs added in May, the unemployment at 3.8%, 62.7% labor participation, GDP estimate 4.7%. By the Atlanta Fed. Unbelievable. Right. So, look, the New York Times said it best. We've run out of words to describe how good these job numbers are. <laughs> but not only that, here's something that needs to be talked about. Record low black unemployment. Right. Record low Latino unemployment. The largest tax cut in American history. The repealing of the individual mandate tax, which really isn't talked about a lot, which was a tax on my generation. So think about it. You're a 29-year-old. You're still trying to get you know, your life going. And next thing you know, the government is paying you because you have to buy expensive and pricey uh, no. health insurance. President Trump got rid of that. Uh, it it is the healthiest, strongest economy of my generation, if not the last 50 years. And just imagine the impact uh, President Trump is having on the judiciary. Oh my goodness. One in eight appellate judges now are from the Trump administration. It's totally amazing. And so the, the, if you look at the verticals that the left thought they were going to control, they thought they were going to control the media, education, politics, and then the courts. And really what they've been most upset about is the fact that President Trump is reshaping the federal judiciary for a lifetime. Like you said, one out of eight justices now appointed by him, and we can't forget the amazing uh, justice, uh, Neil Gorsuch. Okay. Um Okay, we're 500 days in, still no wall, still no trillion dollar infrastructure. We need it. Look, the president has a willingness and a pen ready to sign these bills. We need Republicans in Congress to, st to step up and fulfill the Trump promises and the pre Trump agenda. I will say this, though, where he has been able to make decisions, he, he's the first president in American history to be attacked by the media for keeping his promises. You look at, <laughs> you look at moving the embassy to Jerusalem, withdrawing from TPP, right. the massive deregulations we talked about, the canceling of the Iran deal. When, when the chips are down, President Trump says, what did I say on the trail? What did I promise voters? Because right. he is, he's not owned by donors. He's not owned by elites. He was put there by voters, the American people. So today marks 500 days. He still has 962 left in his No, term. no, no. What, what are you talking about? He has another four after that because <laughs> he's going to get convincingly reelected. All right. Uh, Charlie Kirk, thank you very thank much. Thank you.